and the winner of this vote this time around is Puella Magai Madoka Magica. So let's watch episode one. We have a girl running through a mysterious hallway. She had short pigtails before, but now she has long flowing hair. Oh wait, there's two different girls. One of them is fighting evil, and one of them is watching, and there's also a Digimon standing by. You have the power to change this fate. Legit. Become a magical girl! Okay! Oh wait, no, it was all a dream. Oh, I've totally heard this song before. I think I've probably heard it before. The opening sequence, I've definitely heard it before. I guess I should talk a little bit about this show at this point. I honestly don't know much about it, but I know that people have been trying to get it, get me to watch it since I very first started this um, anime experiment. Like, way back when I first asked people for suggestions, this show came up. But it's never had enough votes to actually win. But this time it totally did! The only thing I really know about it is that it's kind of a parody of the magical girl genre. Which I haven't seen much of, aside from uh, Sailor Moon. <laughs> I thought I'd be festive with my outfit today. <laughs> so our main character's name is Madoka, hence the title of the show. And her father is freaking adorable. And she's got this younger sibling and a mom who's sleeping. <laughs> mom is apparently, she seems more like a friend than a mom. Mom teaches Madoka to embrace her beauty, even though her friend gets love letters every day. <laughs> God, her dad is so adorable! <laughs> He's totally the housewife, because the mom goes to work and the dad is wearing an apron. So Madoka goes off to school as mom goes off to work and dad stays home with the baby. We're being introduced to the best friend figures, who might also be magical girls. I don't know, just saying. So they go to class, which is inside these large glass boxes. And the teacher looks like she's 11 at the oldest. And there's a transfer student! Her name is Akemi, and she is gloriously beautiful. Oh my god, everyone wants to be friends with her. She's so pretty. She is the girl from Madoka's Dream, though. What? So Madoka and her two friends, which have blue hair and green hair, <laughs> respectively, are talking about, like, oh, Akemi seems so strange. I wonder what her deal is. Akemi's like, I feel kind of sick. Yo, Madoka, you're in charge of that, right? Can you take me to the nurse's office? Akemi says, please call me Homura, which is her first name? I think so. I think that's her first name, but it does sound like a last name. Which is strange, especially because Akemi sounds kind of like a first name. All of a sudden she spins around and she's like, Madoka, do you value the way you live your life right now? So she's being really strangely cryptic. She's like, be careful about blah blah blah. You have to just stay who you are and be true to yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Madoka's like, huh? So when this Akemi uh, Homura person, she's really good at school. She's really good at sports. She's like setting records in everything, and everyone's like, What is with this girl? I don't even know! So when Madoka and her two friends are talking about how this girl is kind of crazy, she's good at everything, but she's a little nuts. Madoka confesses that she might have seen this girl in a dream last night, which is a little strange to say. So anyway, the Digimon from the um, dream sequence is running around being shot up by purple beams of light um, in the garage or whatever. And Madoka's hearing strange voices calling, save me, save me, and she's like, oh, and she goes and she follows the voice. And so Madoka goes wandering around in the garage by herself, and the Digimon falls from the ceiling, and she's like, oh no, what's wrong? Oh my god, Akemi Homura is there, and she's being mean to the Digimon. Homura is like, just go, just go, this has nothing to do with you, and she's like, no. He called for me asking for help, so I'm going to help him. Oh, suddenly blue-haired friend. Ah, her name is Sayaka. They run away together. And then there's a drug trip. I don't know what's happening right now. Clouds of smoke with classy mustaches. I don't know. Rescued by some blonde girl that 
that we've never seen before. <laughs> She's a friend of the little Digimon, which is named Kyube. So then the mysterious blonde haired girl suddenly expels some magic powers and transforms into a magical girl. <laughs> I guess I knew that was coming, but it's just like, I don't even know who this person is. So it's hard to be invested in her transformation. And she defeats all the evil mustaches that were trying to attack them. Kemi Homura is like, hey, and this blonde girl seems to know who she is, and they're like, go get the witch. And she's like, okay, but like they're glaring at each other. It's very odd. Okay, bye. Nice talking to you. So the blonde girl's name is Mami, apparently. <laughs> and Kyube is the name of the Digimon. And Kyube is like, oh, Madoka and Sayaka, I've been waiting for you. Let's make a contract and become magical girls. Oh, the end. I can honestly say that if I didn't know this was a parody, I would stop watching it right now and forever. Because, like, this is the opposite of something I want to watch. But because everyone set me up to watch this show as something that is, like, a deconstruction of the magical girl anime, I'm willing to keep watching. Although, in this first episode, I would have been inclined to be like, what? This is, I don't want to watch this at all. So let's watch episode two and hope that it becomes interesting. See ya.